kids, come here. What is it, Mommy? I want to tell you a story about a woman, a woman who had an extraordinary adventure when she was just a little girl and a little blue engine whom she met. What happens in this story? Wait and see. I believe that most folks understand that on a train journey, great adventure may be waiting right around the corner. And that long after the sound of a train whistle has vanished, its romance will remain in every human heart, whatever the age, whatever the time. Most folks are happy to know this. Sadly, a few are not. Which is a shame because that's all it takes to cause a lot of trouble to some of the most precious things in life. This is a story about trains, folks far apart, and a railroad that brought them together as they were meant to be. Every story, like a railroad, has its heroes. Meet Thomas. He's our number one hero. And this is where he and his friends live, the island of Sodor. Hello! But he's running a little late today. There's no place like the island of Sodor. And if you think you have the imagination that I think you do, then you're about to find out why. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who do we appreciate? Practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. I'm counting how many seconds late you are, Thomas. What does that sign say? Hmm, sort of rarely. Really reliable and right on time. But you weren't on time, little Thomas. And you're being bossy, Gordon. This sign also says, sorry for delays during repairs, we are making this a better railway. Signed, head of the railway, with a top and hat. Now, please excuse me, Gordon. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's taking care of us while Sir Topham Hat takes a much-needed holiday. Oh, I think we can take care of ourselves, of course. Get out of my way, you blue puffballs. I have unfinished business here, and I want to finish it fast. What was that? That, Gordon, is a problem. It arrived today. I call him Diesel 10. 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. Sir Topham had sent him from the mainland to Sodor to help us steam engines. But he acts like he hates us, and I think he's really scary. Ha! Huh. You see, Thomas, really useful engines like us need to be brave in situations like this. But all the same, we probably do need Mr. Conductor here after all. Mr. Conductor knows Thomas well. The island of Sodor is at one end of Mr. Conductor's universe, and he is always there when Sir Topham Hat is away. At the other end of Mr. Conductor's universe, far away across oceans of time, up 
and over Muffle Mountain and hidden deep in a valley is his hometown, Shining Time. The station is where Mr. Conductor calls home. He likes to lend a helping hand here, but some folks never see him to say thank you. But before we learn more about what happens here, let's take a trip to the big city. The reason I bring you to the big city is because I want to introduce you to someone. Meet Lily Stone. She sees magic that no one else has time to, like lovely reflections of light on a rainy day. And soon, she was off to visit her grandpa on Muffle Mountain. Lily, come on in. Your father wants to say hello. Hi, Dad. When are you coming home? Oh, okay. Well, I hope this job goes well. Yeah, and I love you too. Bye. Why did Dad have to go away? To get to work. Why do I have to go stay with Grandpa? He's been so sad since Grandma Tasha died, and he never comes here to see us. Well, maybe your visit will cheer him up. Besides, it's only until the baby comes. It'll just be for a few days, and it saves us money to not hire a babysitter. Did you get him his present? Here, I'm making him a friendship bracelet. Honey, that's beautiful. But I'd rather just stay here with you. Mom. Yes, Lily. From what Grandpa told me, he was always in conflict with the man behind him in this picture. Who is that? That's P.T. Boomer. He was always trying to make life miserable for your grandfather. However, after Boomer did something that affected his life forever, he left for a very long time. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. Why not? Your grandfather thought it was too personal to talk about, so he remained silent about it. Now continue packing. We both have a big day tomorrow. There, my paint job's finished. I reckon that Shining Time has the best welcome sign of any town in our valley. Well, I'm glad you agreed. Billy's old map sure helped a lot. He's on his way back now, is he? You hear that train whistle sooner than it hears itself. Fine work, Patch. Thanks. Is something wrong with the rainbow sun, Mr. Two Feathers? I heard your brakes go on. Everything's okay, Patch. Oh, I've been looking at your map. What are all these shadowy lines doing on it? They look like straight railroad tracks, but I can't see any tracks around here except for the ones that you travel on. The mystery that makes this land so... Magical? Well, I better be off to Muffle Mountain. I promised Mr. Stone that I would clean out his yard today. Does Burnett Stone ever give you a smile? 
No, but he doesn't fray my horse either, which means I don't think he's a bad man. I think he's just sad. This iron horse of mine serves me with proud, but you two can cover every nook and cranny. Also, make sure to be on the lookout for a man with a motorbike. He seems out of place. You're Billy Two Feathers. Do you know who I am? You're P.T. Boomer. You left this valley a long time ago when I first came a railroad. Well, now I'm back for two reasons. You see that mountain over there? I'm going to own it. She'll be mine. All mine. That mountain's not for sale. It belongs to Mother Earth. You'll never own it. Well, you're wrong. The second reason I'm back, I'm looking for Burnett Stone. Where is he? Wherever he wants to be. He told me all about you, and I refuse to tell you where he is. Playing innocent like everyone else in this town won't work. I'll find him. Yes, there is innocence here. Don't mess with it. Innocence is here because this valley is built on a land that's special, and it is touched by the gold dust, too. That combination equals harmony, but you can't understand that even when it's staring you in the face. Nobody knew that on Muffle Mountain, there was a secret that Burnett had shared only with his childhood friend, Tasha. One day, This engine was vital to the magic that held these worlds together, but only Burnett knew that. Have a wonderful trip! Hello, Shiny Time Station. Manager Stacy Jones speaking. Oh yes, the 1015 from Pelican Falls to Shiny Time is right on schedule. You're welcome. The 10 o'clock to Lucy's Leap is leaving now. Billy, I found this child's drawing in an old locker in the Lost and Found. Look at this signature, Billy. Burnett Stone? It's hard to believe that Burnett ever looked this happy. Oh, Burnett had a wonderful smile. And he loved the railroading, too. Here, Stacy, these flowers got knocked out of the basket. Maybe some water will help him live longer. Why are they broken? Because a man called Boomer is back in town, and he doesn't believe in magic. Well, hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. Toolkit? Check. Ticket puncher? Check, check. Aye, 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 aye. All aboard? Just testing, Billy. Mustn't let my conducting skills get rusty. Important day, Mr. C? <laughs> it is a very important day. I'm going to the island of Sodor. You know, it's the only place in my universe where I really fit in size-wise. Sir Tom Hyde has given me a big responsibility. He told me that a new diesel has arrived and I have to make sure he behaves himself. Excuse me, Billy. I hope your visit goes well, Mr. C. Thank you, Billy. I must be responsible, reliable, and... Don't tell me! Really useful, I knew that! I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, well, thank you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle, too. You know, gold really is your color. 
Stacy, where did you find this painting? An old locker. It was done by Burnett Stone when he was a child. I was told he used to work on this railroad, but he never leaves the other side of the mountain now. You seem puzzled, Mr. Conductor. Well, I am puzzled. This place looks like the island of Sodor, but how would Burnett Stone travel there without gold dust? Sparkle has been the only way to make the trip since the lost engine disappeared. Anyway, I just came to say goodbye. I have to go now. Right now? Well, yes, Stacy. I have to make sure that everything is safe and sound on the island of Sodor, best as I try to do here. Well, good luck, Mr. Conductor. Thank you, Stacy. Did you tell Mr. Conductor about that rumor, fellow? No, of course not. Good. I suggest you don't, because we wouldn't want him to worry about his sparkle right now if he has a job to do. I know, I know. Boomer is bad for this valley, but so is this train if I don't get it to Doodlehaven on time. But Mutt sensed trouble, and that just like Diesel on Sodor, Boomer was the cause of it here in the valley. Burnett Stone, Waffle Mutt. Old Smokey, you stay here until I get back. Ah, there you are. Is something wrong here? <laughs> now what kind of answer is that? <gasps> I'm gonna be late. I'll get back as soon as I can. I have to concentrate now, Mutt. I'm suddenly having problems with my sparkle. <laughs> Mutt. Goodbye, Mutt. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! And by the way, I think that someone's going to help Mr. Conductor and Thomas somewhere in this story. If Diesel has unfinished business, there's sure to be trouble right around the corner. Sandal fly, blue fly, shoe fly, that's it. Better still, buzz off. Botheration! You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines from crashing. What are you doing in the center, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're red. I was naughty because my wheels were feeling worn out with work, so Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I could be a really useful engine. And when I have, I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. So um, Tom Hatt says the harder you work, the less you need diesels to help. Help you? Ha 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 ha! You'll always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Aunt. Ah. Uh. Oh. Now I'm here to find a lost steam engine. I'm going to destroy her and dominate you, and then, when I'm done with my plan, you'll be nothing but useless scrap. Right, Pinchy? Big bully. Ha 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 ha. We're really useful engines. You won't dominate us, and you won't destroy her. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. I'm off to fetch him now. What lost engine? Cowardly, cranky, worn out, bust my buffers. Diesel is too full of his own oil. Thankfully, Mr. Conductor will be keeping him in check. I wonder what Percy and Toby are up to. They may be little, but they're two of the bravest engines I know. I'm glad you're keeping me company, Toby. These troublesome trucks are being quite... Noisy. I agree. But the sooner we get this work done, the sooner our railway will be better than ever for steam engines. But did you know that Sir Toppin Hat is taking a short holiday? I mean now! Of all times! Let's 
go tell boss the news. Mr. Conductor, where are you? I know you live far away, but you always seem to get here on time. Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you alright? Yes, Thomas, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to see Sir Tom Hatt to get my orders right away. The journey from Shining Time keeps getting bumpier and bumpier, does it? A big bully diesel's arrived, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. Sir Topham Hatt warned me about Diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll just pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. Pinchy, you captured the real me. That, that's beautiful. I could cry. Uh, boss. Yeah, we're here. Oh, all right. Listen, you two. I, uh, I got a job for you. Splodge. Actually, it's Splatter and Dodge. I ain't got time to say both names. Oh, oh well. While Fat Hat's away, we diesels will play. I'm looking for a steam engine. Oh, well that's easy. They're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the one I want. She's special. As long as she exists, so do the others. Now, from what I heard on the mainland, a man named Boomer tried to destroy her himself. But if she can be destroyed... D destroy Did you say destroy? Do you word like hurt? Yes, destroy! There's just one problem, er, boss. If you're talking about Twinkle Toes, I'll get him too, with Pinchy. Ha 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 ha! Ow, Pinchy! I hate it when you do that. <laughs> I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, me neither. Back in the big city, Lily was making final preparations for her own big journey. So that's it, Grandpa. I hope you like it. I hope that it fits. I hope it'll make you happy again, too. You're coming with me to Grandpa's, Bluebird. I know how much you like to travel. Meanwhile, far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels. Puffy pistons. You're just jealous, James. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job. Hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine. Mm -hmm. You, Thomas, are small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I am a big blue engine who knows everything. Bossy Sprockets, all that steam has gone to your funnel. Just ignore them, Thomas. You still have been a really useful engine today. Hey, there they are. We'll fix their wagons. Hey, I'm not good at backing up. Me neither. Stop squabbling, all of you. What's important is standing on our own wheels to Diesel. Tell me, Sir right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Hey, hey, just watch what happens to the blue puffball when Harold the flopper chopper flies through here, right? <laughs> blue team, fly by, chaps. Hello. Hey, the boss just dumped sneezing powder everywhere. Let's start laughing now. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. Bit of a dust up. I'll just stay cleaning. Gotta go. Bye now. Hey, did you mean to look it like that? No, hey, neither did I. This must be Jason's doing. Dear Mr. Conductor, 
Where were you? My wife said she couldn't miss our little holiday. We'll telephone to make sure you have arrived. Signed, Sir Topham Hat. Sir Topham. Best marmalade. Oh, 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 oh. oh, good afternoon, sir. A real honor, sir, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Yes. Watch out for Diesel, definitely. And keep an eye on Henry's health, sir. Yes, sir, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. But I, I mean... I will be responsible, reliable, really useful. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. Goodbye, sir. So who dropped the ball then? Oh! There you are. I'd like to have an ice cup of hot cocoa. Would you fellas care to join me? No? What would you rather do instead? Go outside and play? Well, I can understand that. What do you think? Why do you keep hitting him like that? You're gonna have to have a time out. <laughs> Just a little sweeter, I think. All right, Pinchy, my little bucket of badness. Time to feast yourself. <sighs> ah, now that's better. Whoa! It's Diesel! Diesel? Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Twinkle Toes. I've got a plan, and you're not in it. You can't catch me, Diesel! Losing your sparkle, eh? What perfect timing. Now, where is that lost engine? You won't find her here. You're not clever enough to stop me. Oh, yes, I am. No, you're not. Ah, is that? That's right. It's sugar, Diesel. And if I throw this in your tank, it'll seize you up for good. Ah! Make the most of tonight, Twinkle Toes, because you won't like tomorrow. Neither will that line of tin kettles. Shut up, Pinchy. Mr. Conductor, but what happened to your sparkle? I don't know, Thomas. I guess I'll just have to sleep on that. On your sparkle? No, Thomas. But the problem of what happened to it. Oh, but Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle, or the lost engine... You can't travel here to help us anymore. I'll solve the problem. You just go to sleep now. Easy for you to say. Little did Mr. Conductor know that far away, Burnett Stone could help him, if only he could remember how. If he could survive, so could this valley. Tosh, Tosh the conductor, definitely has a little steam engine with her own rail, 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 and it has and wonderful, wonderful energy, energy because of it. The boomer wants to destroy her, and without her, the conductor's universe will vanish. The man with the, the sparkle told me that one day, one of his family will return. But until then, guard her well, you young Bernard. But I didn't guard you well. I just don't seem to understand about, about the magic anymore. My childhood, it seems so, so, so long ago. So, we 
meet again, Burnett Stone. Aren't you surprised to see me? Not really. I knew you'd come back someday, Boomer. Where is she? I'll never tell you. You should know that. Then I'm just going to have to level this mountain. And why not? After all, skyscrapers and parking lots make lots of money, not magic. You see, it's money that makes you happy. Magic makes a man unhappy. Would you agree? I mean, look at what it's done to you, Burnett. Who needs it? Oh, not you. Not me. I'll be back, Burnett Stone. I found you. Now I'm going to find that engine. Sparkle, gold dust, magic, railroad, buffers, the lost engine. My family told me, as long as there was a railroad, there will be harmony. As long as there is gold dust, there will be energy. You won't even have to worry. <laughs> yeah, sure. Stacy, Billy, what's going on? What's up? Ha! What's going on with our railroad and why? My universe is in danger. I've got to find more gold dust! Next morning, Mutt traveled with Billy to the big city station. Mutt was sure that Lily could help her grandpa and that together they could help Mr. Conductor, but only if Lily met someone special at Shining Time first. Now make sure you behave and listen to your grandfather. Okay, Mom. I will. I love you. I love you too. Attention passengers, the train from Muffle Mountain will depart from Track 3. Last stop, Muffle Mountain. Train for Shiny Time will depart from Track 4. Shiny Time, Track 4. I don't suppose you know where Track 3 is, do you? You do? Is it that one? Well, why not? I hope you're right. Mutt was feeling pleased with himself. He had put Lily on the wrong train, but he knew he had done so for the right reasons. Muffle Mountain, Bluebird. We've been there once before when I was really little, remember? But I wish we were going someplace different. There are so many places in the world to see. I'd like to go to the most magical one of all. 
Left a bit. Oh, oh, oh now, right a bit. Up a bit. Oh, nice. There, James. Tickle all gone now? No, still itchy. Hey, Mr. C, why do you look so tired? Is it because I'm red? Diesel says red is a very tiring color. But Mr. C, red looks so nice against the snow. It's not me, is it? Oh, no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh, good. Just like my sparkle. Or at least it was. And must be again. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay, Mr. C, keep your steam up. What happened? Where's the windmill? That's where I'm supposed to be! <sighs> well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. Now my gold dust really is all gone. And if I can't find the source of making more, I know how bad the consequences will be. I saw them in my dream last night. My family never t really told me what to do in a gold dust crisis. They only said if you can't remember the clue, the windmill will remind you, but where is the windmill? And what is the clue? I'm sorry, but I'm worried about Mr. Conductor. If Diesel succeeds in his unfinished business, Soda will no longer be a happy place. Hello, Gordon. Oh, no. First, Diesel Tin says that soon I will be the slowest engine on Sodor. And now you are here to tease me that I'm running late. How can this day get any worse? I'm not here to tease you, Gordon. I'm looking for Mr. Conductor. Have you seen him? I saw Mr. Conductor this morning. He told me he was going to the windmill to look for something. Then that's where he might be. James, go to the windmill and see if Mr. Conductor's there, and I'll find the others and have them meet us at the sightings. How is a little blue tank engine like him braver than big, strong engines like us? I don't know. Maybe it's instinct. Hmm, could be. Mr. C. Mr. C, are you here? Oh, I'm sure I hope Thomas finds you soon, because he's clearly more clever than me. And, and Gordon, for that matter. Oh, look what we have here, Splodge. One of the two puffballs I ran into yesterday. This one isn't as big of a deal as the other one, though. The other one was smaller, but he says that our plan will fail. As if... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since when do we ever fail? I don't think we ever have. Unless you count the times when a boss tried to speak without Pinchy hitting him in the face. You better watch what you say, Splodge. Unless you want Pinchy to do your next makeup session. Oh, in that case... I don't have time for your insults. I need to meet up with my friends. Next time you make me look bad in front of those puffballs, I will make sure that you end for insulting my shape and speed. Oh, no! Ugh, Pinchy, protect us! Oh, look at my paintwork! I just got it repainted! 
That will show you that we steam engines are better than you diesels. Smile, you steamers. It's a sunny day. Vroom, vroom. It's not sunny because Mr. C is not at the windmill. I looked. I think his sparkle's all gone. He did sound very weak this morning. I do hope he's all right. My smoke box doesn't feel sunny. It feels stuffed up. Nasty fumes from dingy diesel. Hmm? And diesel is after the lost engine. And if he finds her, I feel that will destroy us all. What? Even an engine as big as me? Yes, Gordon. Even you. Uh, Say it, don't spray it, Thomas. I still got the sneezing part out my funnel. Now I'm going to look for Mr. Conductor. And let us get back to work. That's what he would want. How about a race, Thomas? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Sorry, Bertie. I can't today. I have to be a really useful engine and solve some mysteries instead. I guess that means I win. Perhaps another day. Vroom, vroom, vroom. What's that? What's this? I've noticed you've left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead, they're good for the brain. Gone fishing rabbit. Hmm, what the? Well, well, well. How very thoughtful. Well, why not? Here we go. Come here, you. Plane, drain. Mountain, fountain, that might be something. I think I'll try the celery. Okay, my little friend, what do you got for me? Sausage, bicycle, uh, toothpaste, beach. Uh. Wait a minute. Beach. Beach, that's it! That's it! Ha <laughs> ha! I need to find a bellflower. I need to make a call. <gasps> well, it's a summer Sunday and I'm under A cloud that shades my happiest blunder Catching the wave of another This is your life I never thought that I one last sun ray and one last sip of summer Sunday. I think I'm a poet. Oh, oh no. Come on. Uh. Ha! Ah, that's my cell phone. Hello. Junior? Junior, is that you? Oh, hi, cuz. Are you in a tunnel? This, this is not a very good line. Junior, where are you? Hmm. I'm in paradise. I just got on cloud nine. Here I am. Junior, listen to me. You've got to come to the island of Soto right now. Cow, but I am waiting on the perfect wave. Oh no, you're not. You're coming here. I've run out of gold dust, and because of that, I've run out of energy as well. The universe of the Conductor family is in jeopardy. You've got to help me find the source of all our family's gold dust. What is this source? That's the problem, Junior. I haven't a clue. You haven't a clue, and I've used up most of my gold dust, too. What? Then go to Shining Time Station first. And in my signal house, in the box, under the staircase, you'll find the very last of my supply. Please take care of this, Junior, and... Don't talk to anyone about the buffers. What buffers? Shh. This is a very bad line. Hello, my cell phone's not working properly. Junior, you've got to come here right away. I'm counting on you. Hello? I want my money back. I'll be rich, Burnett. Rich. No man's going to stop Boomer. That's the man with the motorbike. I'd better tell Billy. This must be Muffle Mountain. But the train isn't stopping. So it can't be. 
No, Lily wasn't on Muffle Mountain Train. And this one goes straight to Shiny Time. <laughs> yes, Stacy? Well, let me know if you see her. I'd appreciate it too. Thanks. Hello, Edward. Hello, Thomas. Have you had any luck finding Mr. Conductor? No, I haven't. I think that Teasel has done something to him. Don't worry, Thomas. I'm sure that everything will go splendidly. You'll soon see. I sure hope so. Hello, George. Hello. When do I ever say hello to an engine? Especially one who got me grounded for a whole week. Well, it's not my fault you chose to have a road built the wrong way. If you didn't want to stop and had to punish you, you should have done your job the right way. Life's not fair, is it? Especially for a steamroller who deserves his own roller rink. A roller rink? How could you possibly give me a roller rink? It's simple. Just do exactly as I say, and the rink is all yours. Goodbye, turntable. Hello, roller rink for George. And George only, who is forever circling in it in a balletic bliss. Just do as I say, and all your dreams come true. I will do as you say, boss. Perfect. By now, Lily was all alone on the train, and she felt sure she wasn't going to Muffle Mountain. I like this picture, Blooper. I remember Grandpa saying that Grandma's dress was as green as the apples on a sunny apple tree. But that other boy, Grandpa said, was really nasty. His name was Boomer. I want to go home. I miss my mom. But I'm glad I've got you, Bluebird. It's really quiet, isn't it? Do you really think we know where this journey is taking us? Shiny time? What does that mean? You again? Do you want me to get off here? Oh, Billy! Here's your map. I found it lying on the platform. Be careful. I think that Boomer might find it useful. Mr. Two Feathers. Mr. Two Feathers, I've seen this stranger with the motorbike. And he seems to be destroying the mountain. Who is he? That man's name, Batch, is P.T. Boomer. He wants to sell an old fight with Burnett Stone. I think it's about an engine. Could the engine have something to do with the shadowy lines on your map? Yes, she could and should have something to do with why this has always been such a peaceful home. Mr. Two Feathers, why are there no flowers growing in the middle of this meadow? I've never noticed that before. If we knew the answer to that question, Patch, we'd understand the mystery of the valley. Those lines almost look like the lines on your map, but maybe it's just the light playing tricks. Maybe. But Patch, this valley is suffering, and a way has to be found to make it better again. Otherwise, Boomer's going to make a bad situation worse. He likes to exploit the vulnerable. Well, bye, Mr. Two Feathers. Splodge, meet George. He is now part of our plan to help find those buffers so we can find the lost engine and make life miserable for all those puffballs and twinkle toes. Okay, George, let me tell you what I need you to do. We are looking for a lost steam engine, and as long as she exists, the others will. So we're trying to find her, so she can be destroyed. But there's the problem. She uses buffers to get to her own railway, and we need you to destroy every single pair of buffers, so we can find out which one leads to her. Once your job is done, you will be rewarded with your own roller rink. Are you with us? Yes, I am. Perfect. 
Now, do what you do best and destroy. Ow! Hey, watch where you're aiming when you're destroying those things. Yeah, they go everywhere when they get smashed. Oops, sorry. One set of smashed buffers isn't enough, George. You will hit those buffers that are so precious to Twinkle Toes. And once you have, destroy them with all your strength you have with that roller. But I might hurt somebody or something. So? Whatever you say, boss. I wish I were back to mending roads. Cinders and ashes! Now George has joined these on his two sidekicks. I must find Mr. Conductor and tell him straight away. Gone. Why did I take, I take my, take gold, my dust gold dust for granted? granted? I can't, I can't help, help without, without my gold dust. dust. What, what is, is the, the source, source of my gold, my gold dust? dust? Is someone there? Thomas, is that you? Mr. Conductor! Mr. Conductor! Thomas? Oh, Mr. Conductor! Where are you? Thomas? How can I possibly say that I'm really useful now? What is this place? Where is everyone? What have you brought me here for? Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I'll get that, maybe it's in here. Oh, cake. Oh, that's not cake. Oh, how cute. Six little, fine little black figures. Oh, hello. Man, this is too much. I've got to get to the island. I've got to get to cousin. Hey there, who are you? I'm Lily, who are you? See, Junior. Did I drop some sunglasses when I came here? I don't know. Well, I might as well use up more of this stuff. See ya, Lily. What is this stuff? Excuse me, are you Lily? Yes. Stacy Jones, I manage you here. Your grandpa's very upset. You must have gotten on the wrong train. I better take you to Muffle Mountain. Thank you. What's that doing there? Hmm, nice bed. Now before I take the big job of helping my cuz, I'll have a little rest and then I'll be ready for action. Stacy? What does shining time mean? Oh, it's an old railroad expression. Shining time. It's when the train starts and the wheels spin. It's the beginning of a journey. Stacy, I don't think I got on the wrong train. I think I got on the right one. And I think I'm beginning to find out why. Stacy, did you know my grandma? My mother did. She said Tasha was a wonderful dancer. And I hear that Burnett was once the finest railroad engineer in the valley. I think Grandpa liked to call Grandma Lady. Lady? Yes, I heard them say that name when they were talking. Well, my mother said that your Grandpa certainly had three passions in his life. Tasha, trains, and this valley. And I wish, oh, never mind. So, Burnett, the engine, she's hiding in the mountain, isn't she? Even if she were, she'd be no good to you now, just as she was no good to you several years ago. Oh, you'll soon see, Burnett, that you're all wrong, just like you're always on. Besides, 
You and I both know that she's good for one thing, and one thing only. She's good for scrap. Stacy, I'm a little nervous. Well, maybe your grandpa is too. It's been a while since you've seen each other. Is that Boomer? Yes, and he only believes in two things, greed and money, and he doesn't like beauty. Hey kid, you stay out of this conversation. You hear me? Hey, that's my granddaughter. She's here to stay with me. Oh, really? Is that right? Well, isn't that nice? And hey, maybe with her around, finding that engine will be easy as pie. Hello, Burnett. Stacy. Hello, Lily. Hi, Grandpa. Well, have a good evening, Burnett. Thank you, Stacy. Good night. Stacy, you said, I wish? I wish? Oh, yes. I wish you'd come back and see us tomorrow in shiny time, if your Grandpa lets you. Hey, Grandpa. I saw this really cool guy down at the station. He was really little and kind of golden. Can you believe that? I used to believe that. Now I only believe what I can see. Come on. So boss, what are we doing here again? Quiet! We're capturing that blue puffball and having him take us to Twinkle Toes. Hello, Toby. Hello, Thomas. Edward says you haven't found Mr. Conductor yet. I haven't. No sight nor sound of him. I'm starting to think that something terrible has happened to him. I sure hope he's okay. Anyway, I must be off. I need to make the mail run tonight with Percy. Okay, Splodge. Let's go get that blue puffball. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. I don't think, I don't you're, think you're supposed, supposed to be here. here. Let's get out of here, Splodge. We're coming, boss. Right behind you. This isn't over, puffball. Don't worry, don't Thomas. Worry, Thomas. I'll, I'll keep an keep eye, eye out, for, out them. for them. Thank you, Harold. Goodbye, Toby. Goodbye, Thomas. Don't you like photographs anymore, Grandpa? No. How come you don't live in the valley? I don't like trains. But trains come to Muffle Mountain. Through the other side. This side, there's no sight or sound of them. Are you sure you don't like trains, Grandpa? I'm sure. Here, Grandpa. I made this for you. I hope it fits. Thanks, Lily. I'll do it. She loves, and they love, so why can't you love, and I love too? Birds love, and bees love, and whispering trees love, and that's what we both should do I that's grandma's favorite song yes it was you go to bed First time I saw 
How many times do I need to tell you? She's no good to you, Boomer. How can I hear a train whistle in the valley if the mountain is supposed to muffle the sound of the train from the other side. Billy, I've been wondering about Burnett ever since Lily talked to me about Tasha. You know, Burnett and Boomer had a big quarrel about an engine. Then Boomer left town, and we didn't see him again till now. Did you ever see the engine? No, never. But I believe she was, is, if she still exists, important to Burnett and this valley. Burnett had three passions in his life, Tasha, trains, and this valley. Billy, you know how Mr. Conductor blows his whistle for his sparkles? Well, I've always taken it for granted that's all he needs to get to the Iron Sodar. But maybe he also uses a secret railroad. And maybe the beauty that we know is all around us is because of the gold dust. And because of the secret railroad. And this mysterious engine is connected to all of this somehow. Oh, Billy, look at the bouquet tree. It's losing all of its blossoms. It's much too early for that. Yes, it is. Much too early. Well, I better feed Mutt his supper. Take care, Stacy. Good night, Billy. Burnett's heart had shut out the engine's whistle, which was what his ears could clearly hear. And as the sound of her magic echoed through the night on Muffle Mountain, the engines on Sodor had her very much in their thoughts. I went the long way around. Don't worry, Percy. Mr. Conductor would still be proud of us. Speaking of Mr. Conductor, he talked about buffers in his sleep. Buffers are at the end of the railway. I think that's how he travels here. On a secret railway. Belonging to the lost engine. Percy, you are clever. Ooh, my wheels are suddenly feeling very wobbly. I think Diesel's around here. I'm sorry, you two. Diesel heard every word you said. I'm going after him to see what he does next. You'd better carry on and get the mail delivered. Oh, you're very brave, Toby. Oh, Diesel won't bother with an old engine like me. He thinks I'm useless. 
I've been working on the railway all the live long day. <laughs> Who wants to work all the live long day anyway? There he is. Come in, come in, and join the party, Splodge. You too, George. Sure thing, boss. Hey, hooray! We're gonna have a party. Oh, I love parties. Yeah, who's got the balloons? What? A party? Oh, I'm sorry. You two just missed it. Thank you, George. Correction. Join the party that's over. Just like Twinkle Toes, Magic Railway is going to be over. Gone like the lost engine and the buffers that lead to her. And as you already know, I have George on that job. And now I have a job for you, Splodge. You must help him destroy. Mwahaha! <laughs> but just like what George said, we might hurt somebody or something. And as I said earlier, so? What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to finally put Twinkle Toes' lights out. This is a job for the boss. I've got to delay him. I've got to distract him. It's the old teapot. Smash him! Oh, no, 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 no. Pinchy, get back here. Don't make me come up there. I really hate it when you do this. Good show. Uh, boss, did you mean to let the roof fall in, but all the way in? I always mean what I do, you rattle traps. Ugh. Diesel was in a dump, but the steam engines were still on the right track. Morning, Henry. What's the matter? Oh, I've got a boiler ache. And I'm collecting one, two, three, four, five, six trucks of special island of soda coal for you. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Special coal will make me feel <coughs> much better. But I wish I could help Mr. Conductor feel better, too, by finding him. Thomas and your five coal trucks. Vroom, vroom. Five? But I'm supposed to have six. Hello, Percy. Oh, Thomas. I've been worried about you. Bernie says you lost a coal truck today. Yes, it disappeared when I was at the buffers, near the little grotto. Maybe those are the buffers that lead to the secret railway. And the grotto is the lost engine's special platform. Percy, you protect those buffers from Diesel. <gasps> what? And I'll find Mr. Conductor. M m me b b why Because you're a brave engine, Percy. Oh, I forgot. Hello, George. How's the smashing coming? It's tiring, boss. And I can tell you something. I'm starting to think that there is no such thing as a lost engine. The more I smash, the less believable it becomes. Don't you dare talk to me like that. You will do as I say, or I will make sure that Pinchy destroys that roller of yours, and you can say goodbye to your precious roller rink. 
Now what sounds like a good idea? I will do as you say. Perfect. Now Splodge, get to work. Yes, boss? Good. Well, well, well. What have we here? Hello, Twinkle Toes. Remember me? Fat Hat won't have much use for you looking like that. <laughs> oh, I see you forgot to bring the sugar. How careless of you. Say hello to Pinchy. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Twinkle Toes. I know about the buffers. That's what I saw in my dream. It's coming true. My universe is starting to crumble. Watch out for the bioduck, Diesel! Shut up and pay attention. And I know about the magic railway. And when I find that engine, you and all those puffballs will be history. Tell me where the buffers are. Now! <laughs> You've got ten seconds! Oh! Ten. Nine. Eight, come on, come on. Come seven, on. six, five, Almost got four, you. three, two. Yes. Too late, Diesel. <sighs> Whoa! Oh. Did you put all this here for me? Well, you must have known that I was coming. How kind of you. Oh, I'm at the windmill. Now that's what I call a perfect landing. This must be the clue to unlock the source of the gold dust. Stoke up the magic in the mountain and the lady will smile. Then watch the swirls that spin so well. Well, where's the writing gone? You've got quite a stubborn grandfather. Now come on, I'm not going to hurt you. Just tell me where the engine is. She will make me the richest man in not just this mountain, but this whole valley. Oh, you're a stubborn one too, aren't you? Keep away from me. I already said, I'm not going to hurt you, but your grandfather is being so stubborn, and with you around, finding that engine will be easy. Now tell me where she is. Boomer, you stay away from her. Stay away from my granddaughter. Stay away from this house, and certainly stay away from that engine. She's no use to you, other than scrap and money. <sighs> After Boomer left, Mutt was carrying out the next part of his plan. Lily, was that a dog I heard barking? Yeah, but he's gone now. Mm. I saw that there was a tire swing nearby. Is it okay if I go there and swing on it for a while? Sure. Just be safe. Bet you can't climb that tree. See? Where did you learn to do that? On my fire escape. Hi, I'm Patch. I'm Lily. Do you live around here? 
Yes, my mom and dad run the stables. Good morning, Patch. Good morning, Mr. Stone. I'm running into shining time. Can Lily come with me if she'd like to? I'd like to. Sure. She can go. Be back by sunset, Lily. Do you want to come too? No. I I never go there now. Bye, Grandpa. So, have you ever ridden a horse before? No. Patch, Grandpa says that trains don't go up the mountains, but... But what, Lily? I'm sure I heard one last night. So, it's not just me. You see, Lily, I've heard it too. Lots of times. But if we both heard it... Then why not? Grandpa too? There's nothing wrong with his hearing. I don't know. I've always wanted to go this way, though. We're following some shadowy lines I've seen on a map. They're like straight railroad tracks without any rails. But if there are any railroad tracks, they must be magical ones. Then why did they suddenly stop? I don't know. You! I should have kidnapped you when I had a chance. Where I find that engine, you and your grandfather will be next. Boomer, leave them alone. They're only children. Don't worry, Patch. I'll look after him. That's a big storm coming. We've been safe from storms in this valley for a long while. Let's hope this one just passing through. Like yourself, P.T. Boomer. Oh, don't worry, Billy. I'm just passing through. I'm passing through into the mountain. And then, poof, no more engine. No more protector. No more mountain of rocks. Just a, a mountain of money. That mountain won't change. It can survive anything, Boomer, including yourself. Hello, Lily. I knew you would come back and see us today. Thanks, Stacy. I have to run to the store to get some parts. I think I'll stay around here. Oh, that's okay. I've also got a bunch of errands to do as well, so I'll meet you back here in time for sunset. Thanks. Junior? Visto? I've given up on seeing you again. What's the blue, green, and red on and goes poop poop? A parrot? You mean chirp chirp? No trains, talking trains. I'm off to see them right now on the island of Sando. And cousin, I overslept and I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you want to come? Can we be back here by sunset? I hope so. I want to go back to the beach. What do you think, Mutt? Okay. Good, it's this way. We'll take the shortcut. Really? Hmm, there's two of us, so... Mm, well, that means I'll have to use Cuz extra supply of gold dust. We'll have plenty more soon. Can I take this little bit back for Grandpa? By my guess, I'll take care of it for you. Ready? Here it goes. You've grown bigger. Maybe you're smaller. I'm just adjusting properly to my new surroundings. Oh. This is the one only place it ever happens to me. Whoa, a bit bouncy, isn't it? Where are we? The conductor's railroad. Magic railroad? Whatever. We're traveling miles and miles to this island, but I don't know if there's railroads going last much longer. It'll vanish like the engine. What engine? The engine that used to travel on this railroad because and I never saw it, why don't know what happened to it. Hey, what's that doing now? You ready, Lily? Here are the buffers. No! Where are we? The island of Sundor. Of course, mm, this way. Achoo! Ugh, buggers. What's the matter? I think I'm allergic to this grass. <laughs> It's a good thing I like climbing things. Ugh, grass. 
What's that noise? The trains. I told you, they talk. We're just too far away to hear what they're saying. Vroom, vroom. Good morning. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Edward, have you seen Mr. Conductor yet? No, Thomas, I haven't. But James told me that he still is looking for the windmill. Then that's where I should go. Oh, my gears. I don't think I can smash anymore. I agree. My wheels are hard all over the strength I'm giving. Why don't you two just take a break then? Leave it to me. I can smash things within seconds and I like you two. Oh no, George. Bad idea. You don't know the boss as we do. He will scratch the paint with Pinchy. Well, I don't care. He can't do anything to me. Splodge, meet me at the docks. I need to talk to you about something. Yes, boss. Right behind you, boss. Well done, Henry. Well done, James. What useful engines we all are. Thank you, Gordon. It's all thanks to the cold Thomas this morning. We should be very grateful that he is wanting to help Mr. Conductor. You're right, James. But the fact that it's Thomas who wants to solve all these mysteries makes me believe he's becoming less of the cheeky little engine he used to be. Uh, so boss, yeah, how come you let Twinkie Toes escape? Yeah, yeah! Oh, that's, uh... Hey, I'm gonna need you three to move. Stay out of this, you malfunctioning rust bucket. Anyway, well, I... I did it on purpose. You know, I was testing him to see if he could escape. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Does he wear pants? Well, training pants. All right. Playtime's over, Splodge. Uh-oh. Now it's time for the next lesson, huh? I call it, How to Stop Being Stupid. I did warn you, Diesels, but all you care about is what you think is right. <laughs> <laughs> well now, that's going to ruin my facial. Annie, Kerbel, there's Mr. Conductor. We found him. Oh, bunkers, it's Junior. Junior, look. It's Thomas. Thomas, now don't look so surprised. I know you haven't seen me since. You stuffed party poppers down my funnel. Hey, we had a laugh. You did? You're talking to each other. Ah, first prize, Lily. Thomas, Thomas, Lily, now where's my cousin? Hi. Hello, Lily. Welcome to Sodor. Come on, Lily. I'm very at home on trains. Annie, Clarabel, I'll send Percy back to fetch you. We've heard that one before. Hello, Thomas. Percy, Annie and Clarabel are in the sidings waiting for you. Okay, I'll fetch them for you. Mm. What's the matter? Travel sickness. What's that shining at the windmill? It's the Lily. I think it's my cousin. Mr. Conductor! Mr. Conductor! <laughs> Thomas! Think throttles, you're safe! I have terrible news, Mr. Conductor. Joyce has joined Diesel and is smashing every set of puffers he comes across to figure out which one leads to your secret railway. What are we going to do? I don't know, Thomas, but don't worry. We'll deal with them soon. Come on, Lily. Hey, cuz. What's up? Adjoin the sun? No, Junior, I am not. As a matter of fact, I just landed here after escaping a heavy metal monster. Junior, where have you been? Uh, is your sparkle back, Mr. Conductor? No, Thomas, it isn't. But, 
I do know the clue. Stoke up the magic in the mountain and... Darn! Did them! Hi, cuz. You're looking terrible. Why don't we go get more gold dust? Cuz I used yours up. Then you can go back home and I can go to the beach. Junior, I want you to listen to me and I want you to listen to me very carefully. Uh oh. I'll get that. I get it. Hello? No, this is his cousin. Give me the phone. Who's this? Oh, hello, Hootie. No, no. No, no. no he's hanging around here somewhere. <laughs> yes, sir, Tom Hat, sir. No, he just wanted to be friendly. No, he's not a dog. Well, let's just say he's a puppy in need of a good trainer. Ah. Oh. No, nothing to worry about, sir. Goodbye, sir. Because this is Lily. She's staying with her grandpa, Stone. Hello, Lily. Hello. Junior? Junior? Ooh! Ooh! Junior! Junior, what are you doing up there? Come down! It's too windy! This is just like the fun fair. Give us two seconds. Woo! Woo! Two seconds is all it takes for you to land in trouble. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Junior! Oh! Aha! Twinkle Toes Junior. Oh no, my beach bag. You won't be doing any surfing up here, Mr. Kahuna. Oh, really? Watch me. Hang on tight, moon doggy. Diesel's abducted him! What's going to happen to Junior now? Well, my family's usually pretty good at getting themselves out of trouble, eventually. But the way you say it, Mr. Conductor, eventually sounds very, very long. Hey, Lily, I'm back. I need to send you back to your grandfather. Lily! Lily! What am I going to tell Mr. Stone? Where's Lily? I wish I knew. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. She wasn't at the station when I went back for her. It's okay, Patch. We'll find her. Don't worry. Mr. Stone, I've heard an engine's whistle out on this mountain. You heard wrong, Patch. Well, I mean, I'd be deaf to hear it. But Lily says you heard a dog bark. You never go wrong, do you? Now where exactly do you hear that whistle? I don't talk with bullies, Boomer. Well, everybody has their price. Now, what's yours? Think of all you can buy with this. Forget it, Boomer. You'll never catch us. Get over here. Here, Stacy. At least the mail's on time. Mr. Two Feathers, I'm sure Mr. Stone knows the secret of the mountain. There's an engine in there, but now, because of me, Boomer knows the secret too, and he's putting us all in danger. And I don't know where Lily is. I do. I think Junior's gone to the island of Sodor to help Mr. Conductor. And I think Lily's gone with him. I'm sure you're right, Stacy. But don't worry. It'll be for a good reason. I am brave. I am brave. Thomas says I'm brave. So I'm brave. Oh, it's not easy being brave. Shiver my pistons. They're splatter and dodge. Oh, they found the buffers. Oh, n now what is going to happen? <gasps> Howdy, partner. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Oh, that's just nothing. This 
must be the buffers Diesel's looking for. Are we supposed to go through them? Oh, not me, you. Oh, not me, you. This is a job for the boss. Better yet. Oh, I better hurry back and warn Thomas. Smash those buffers, George, now. Yeah, what if I don't want to smash the buffers? Listen, I don't want any roller rink anymore. As a matter of fact, I would rather fix roads than listen to your boss because he is being completely unreasonable with me. And he's being completely unfair to you guys as well. What do you mean unfair? Come on, has he ever thanked you for anything you've ever done for him? Well, uh, no, I suppose not. Oh, well, let me see. Uh, no. Then I suggest next time he orders you to do something, you say no. And never bother with him again. Because that's what I'm doing right now. He does have a point. I agree. Next time he orders us to do something, I'm not going to do it. Me neither. Well, lady, what are we to do now? It all seems so much easier when Tasha and I were children. Boomer! Patch, how did you find me here? I found the entrance to your workshop ages ago, but I would never tell anybody, not even a bully like Boomer. Well, you were braver than I was. You see that switch over there, Wall? Flip it on. So, it is true. We did hear an engine in the mountain. Yeah. All mountains have a secrets, Patch. Shouldn't surprise a kid like you. Can I help you, Mr. Stone? Sure. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why is she locked up? She isn't. She's safe from harm. Or was. Boomer's looking for a lady, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. He heard us talking about her. Why does Boomer want to hurt her, Mr. Stone? It's a long story, Patch. You're sure you want to know? Yeah, I do. All right. It was a long time ago. Boomer was jealous of the relationship I had with Lily's grandmother, Tasha. Eventually, he learned about Lady and that I was the one guarding her. He threatened to destroy her if I didn't let him drive her. So, I let him drive her. He used up all her coal, and he made her go too fast. And then, he crashed her. After that, he ran away, and I brought her here. I tried my best to fix her up, but I've never been able to make up for the mistakes I made and I've never been able to bring her to life, to make her steam. Patch, she's as precious as gold. And that's all Boomer wants for her, for scrap. But she's worth a lot more than that. And so is magic. She can whistle, I've heard her. Yeah, so have I. It's because she's magic. This must be the map of her magic railroad, but the railroad's energy is fading away. I sensed it while we were riding. Lily and I were traveling on the ground above it. The railroad needs Lady, but I don't know her special secret, and I need to know it now, more than ever. Because of Lily? Yes, because of Lily. This is the end of the line, Twinkletoes Jr. Not to join the exercise, Diesel? You should try surfing. It's a lot more peaceful than going down the line very fast. <laughs> Mr. Conductor was trying his best to keep Lily cheerful. He knew she was worried about being late for her grandpa. Mr. Connector, I was supposed to be back by sunset. You know, Lily, perhaps your grandpa can guess where you are. He can? 
Maybe, because I think he's been here himself long ago. And if he can't help, I do wish he'd hurry. I haven't told Junior this, but soon he'll be as weak as I am. Junior said there used to be an engine that used to travel on the Magic Railroad. And if only we could find that, we could still make it back to the Shining Time. Oh, that engine disappeared. Never to be seen or heard from again. I have to tell you something, Mr. C. I've heard a train whistle, and it sounded like it was coming from the mountain. Mountain? I just remembered another part of the clue. Stoke up the magic in the mountain, and the lady will smile. But we need more information, Lily. And I know that your grandpa can help, if he would just believe that he could. Lady? Thomas! Thomas! Percy, what are you doing here? The Diesels! They found the buffers to the magic railway! Who, who's this? This is Lily. She lives on the other side of the railway. She's staying with her grandpa. Oh, we must get Lily back to her grandpa now, in case the magic railway is closed forever. But how can Lily go without gold dust? Only in the lost engine. Unless... Unless... Uh... Thomas! Will you please take Lily? Through the buffers? But what if I go on the railway and my wheels don't work? But what if they do? But what if... if... Yes? What if it's dark? It will be for a while. And cold! Maybe. And how will I get back again? Because you're a really useful engine and we'll find a way. Then, I'll try. Lily, please take my hat as a keepsake to bring good luck. Come with us. I don't want to leave you, like this. No, Lily. I'll just slow you down. Besides, I need to stay here and make sure that Junior makes it back safe and sound. Listen to him, Lily. We don't have much time. Okay, just take care of yourself, Mr. C. I promise I'll get you home to your grandpa, Lily. Follow me, partner. Woo! Right this way to Bufferville, just a walk in the park. We're going through, Lily. You're on your own here on in, little boo buckaroo. yee Little engines can do big things! Whoa! It is dark, and cold, and bumpy, but I'm not afraid. Lily, how can your grandpa help Mr. Conductor? He is the guardian of the lost engine. Or at least I think he is. And Diesel isn't the only one looking for her. Grandpa's arch rival, Boomer, is looking for her as well. Well, why does Boomer want to hurt her? He was jealous that Tasha, my grandmother, loved Grandpa over him. So he decided to make his life miserable. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Lily. I hope we can find the engine first. Oh, there's the missing coal truck. Coal truck? Stoke up the magic in the mountain. That's part of Mr. Conductor's clue to his gold dust. And Lily, that's what you do with coal. Stoke it up to make steam. We're going to be really reliable and help Mr. Conductor. We're going back for that coal truck. Mr. Conductor needs to... Whoa, Thomas! Lily? Lily? Lily, where are you? Little engines can do big things. I'm not going to lose Lily. And I'm not going to lose that coal truck again either. I'm going back and I'm going alone. engine, Thomas. I'm going to get my revenge, Burnett Stone. You and that engine. You know what revenge sounds like? 
Roblox my phone! <laughs> I left the coal truck behind! Pat! Lily? Where's Grandpa? Can you take me to him? Jump up. Pat, I knew I could count on you. Stop, please! Stop! Stop! You go, I go! Lost my puffers! Where am I? This must be another branch of the Magic Railroad. I hope I can find my way home, but who is that man following me? Aha! There you are! Don't you move one more wheel. No. I know who you are. Lily told me everything about you. You're after the lost engine, just like Diesel. Oh, you don't. Get back here. Oh, Lily, I'm so glad to see you. There's this island of talking trains, and they say you might have been there. But Mr. Conductor's very sick, and Junior's in danger, and I have to leave poor Thomas behind. Please help me. I'd like to, Lily, but I don't know how. Nothing seems to work. This is a lost engine from long ago. Now we can go back to the island and bring Mr. Conductor and Junior home. I can't make her steam. I've tried all the different coals in the valley. Lady, is that her name? Yes. Coal, special coal from the island of Sodar. That's what Lady needs. Patch, there's a coal truck up at the top of the mountain. Do you think you could get some? Of course I will. I'm sorry, Lily. I'm sorry, because I haven't been whatever it is. Responsible, reliable, really useful. But I will be. I will be. Ah! Oh! James! Ah, so you've lost your sparkle too, huh? Bye-bye, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> oh no! It's empty! Here we go! <laughs> Junior, what are we gonna do? We'll think of something! That's it! I'll find you some more, Lily. I promise, but if I'm going to be any hope I owe, it's now or never. I've got to use up the rest of the stuff. Are you ready? No, we're not. James, the brains, get us out of here. There we are. What the? Boss, boss, it's George. He's betrayed us. The traitor. I knew he was too soft. Come with me. We need to teach that steamroller a lesson. Yahoo! Hoo ya! Ha! Bye, James. Bye, Junior. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so long, cuz. But better late than never. Junior, we're all out of gold dust, aren't we? Bankrupt. Hey, it's a beautiful day. I mean, we're done. But we're not out of any. No, we're out. But we are not down. Why didn't you tell anybody about Lady? Because I felt like I had let everyone down. But most of all, Mr. Conductor and his family. When he told me about the engine who lived in the mountain, he took me to the land of the talking trains. And it was a my shining time until my married Tasha. He ordered me to guard Lady as he was leaving the valley for a long time, and everything worked out well, until Boomer came along. Did Grandma love Lady as much as you do? Did she ever take a ride on her? Grandma loved her because I loved her, but she never took a ride on Lady. I couldn't fix her in time.
Lily, Mr. Stone, I got the cold. Lily, look! The railroad's getting its energy back. Well, my lady, the lights are all green for you now. Green for glory. Tasha would have loved this journey. Yes, she would. And she loved it that you are with me now. So, Blair. You didn't forget about magic. It's safe inside of you. Thomas! You found her, and she's Beautiful! We're on the island of Sonar! Stop, Grandpa! Stop, lady! Junior. Hello, Mr. C. Mr. Conductor. This is my grandpa. I'm glad you're able to find your way back. Junior, do you realize who this is? I reckon this is one beautiful engine. Oh, th oh, this is the last engine. How are you? We are glad to see you. How we can go back to sh shining times. Junior, we won't be able to go back to Shining Time without the gold dust. Without it, the magic can't exist. Who does he think he is? Reward me with a rollery? How will he be able to do that? George, stop right there, or else. Or else what? Or else Pitchy will turn you into a pile of scrap. You think I'm scared of that? I'm done with you. If you want to smash those buffers, do it yourself. I want nothing more to do with you. Goodbye. Ugh. Fine, be that way. Splodge, come with me. Twinkle Toes is coming with us. Lily, I'm here. Oh, Thomas, I'm so sorry I had to leave you behind. Aha! There's the blue puffball. And just look who else I found. I'll get you, blue puffball. 
and that engine too. She'll never get away from me. Sparge, come and help me destroy. No, you do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, do it yourself. We don't like you, and we mean that. Yeah, we mean that. Ha, oh, who needs you, Splodge? Whoa, whoa. Wait for me. I am after the agent two. Then that makes two of us. Run, lady, quickly, and I'm going to help you. So am I, my lady, and I'll not let you down again. Watch out for the viaduct. It's dangerous. Mother. Lady, that engine's name is Lady. She's part of the clue to the source of the gold dust. Ah! Now, I'll get you, Redstone, and that engine too. Yes! No, you won't, Boomer, because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. You can run, but you can't hide. Right, Pinchy? Ha 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 ha! Pinchy's hungry! Oh, get back! Come on, lady! Coming, Puffball! Ha 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 ha! Look out! Here I come! Doc Pinchy! Ha ha ha! I like my lunch steamed. Ha 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 ha! Puff bar. Okay, Grant. The gloves are off. Well, lady, this is your shining time, too. With your help? I hope so. Come on, lady! Little engines can do big things! Well done, Thomas. Well done. What the? Oh, no! Ah! 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 Oh well, nice time of year for a cruise. <laughs> but Mr. Conductor, you still don't have your gold dust. I think he will soon. Wait a minute. Then watch the swirls that spin so well. Swirls. Just like all the wonderful shavings around Lady when we were on the railroad. Is there anything else? Oh, of course there is. So well... A well means water. Lily, put the shavings in with the water. Go ahead, Lily. Throw it up in the air. Please! Please! No, no Lily! Gold dust! Gold dust! <laughs> Gold dust! Ooh. Lady, you're a really helpful engine! And helping each other brings the magic to life! <laughs> <laughs>
in all of us. Come on, Mutt. Let's look around. Lily, I think I promised you something. Here, take some. Oh! So, cuz, now that we've said goodbye to all the bad guys, how else can I help you? You mean, you don't want to go back to the beach? Uh, well, maybe, for a holiday, but I'm ready to work. You got a job for me? You know, Junior, there is a railroad. Which palm trees? One or two. In sunshine? Sunny spells. I'll take it. What's the way? This is the way. No, Junior, don't wear it like... Hello? Yes, Sir Topham Hat, sir. You're on your way back right now. Well, splendid news, I'll be at the sheds to welcome you. Oh, yes, sir. Everything is under control. Goodbye, sir. Well, see you in shining time. Here, Grandpa, I'd like you to have this. Well, how sweet of you, Lily. Here, give me the blueberry. I think we should share it. Now, we'll always remember our shining time together. Back at shining time, the station became everyone's favorite place to go during the summer especially since the magic had been restored and neither Boomer nor Diesel could try to destroy it. Have a great time! Ah! And when Lily returned to the big city, Burnett joined her, and her entire family celebrated the birth of her newborn brother, Burnett Jr. As for the engines on Sodor, they too would live in harmony. Splatter and Dodge were welcome to the railway, and all the engines tried their best to be really useful. As long as Lady was alive to keep the magic railroad running. And that is the story of how me and Grandpa restored the magic to Shining Time and the Island of Sodor. And when your uncle got older, I gave him my much-loved Bluebird and took him to Shining Time. There, he met Mr. Conductor, and he told us about all the adventures that he had had on the island of Sodor. And I came back every summer and became an engineer, like your great-grandpa and his lifelong friend, Billy. Fine storytelling, Lily. Thanks, Patch. What happened to Thomas after the story? He stayed home on the island of Sodor. Why? I keep imagining I can meet Thomas, too. Then that's what counts. Maybe someday me and your father will take you both to Shining Time so you can go to the island of Sodor. That way, you will be able to experience it just the way I did. Now, it's time for bed. Sometimes, all it takes is a little train to remind us that magic is timeless and always worth the hope of its existence. And so, we've come to the happy end of our story, and it's time for all of us to go home. Just like Thomas. Just
Worlds await you. 